In this video, we're talking about magnets. So, um, every substance uh, can be divided in two broad categories uh, depending on how they uh, react with uh, magnets. They're either paramagnetic or they're diamagnetic. A substance is defined as diamagnetic if, uh, when put in a magnetic field, it will react by creating an internal magnetic field that uh, sort of tends to cancel out uh, um, the original magnetic field. If the substance instead that tends to align with the magnetic field, then it's paramagnetic. How do magnets work in paramagnetic substances? Um, atoms uh, are um, made up of uh, um, protons, neutrons and electrons and uh, you can assign uh, um, a magnetic moment uh, to the electrons that spins uh, around uh, every atom. Uh, what does it mean? It means that uh, the moving electrons act like uh, um, tiny little magnets uh, and usually in a material they are um, have random orientation so they're all pointing in different direction. But once you apply a magnetic field suddenly they start all they start pointing in the same direction the stronger they uh, they move to point in the direction the stronger is the magnetic properties of uh, that material and the strongest magnetic properties that we can think of is uh, uh, ferromagnetic those are all those elements uh, where you can apply a magnetic field and the magnetic field will persist uh, in the object. A good example is iron and uh, or neodymium um, or many other um, rare earth materials that have very strong magnetic properties. Just to make you realize how strong is magnetism, if I get a magnet close to an iron, actually steel knife, it will attract the lifting off the table. Which means that these tiny little magnets can compare to the entire gravitational force uh, of the Earth. Other substances uh, don't react uh, as well. Uh, a good example is uh, um, copper. Here is a nice uh, little copper pipe and once the magnet goes through the copper pipe it is slowed down by the magnetic moment of the electrons in the copper pipe uh, enough for it to do a couple of rotations inside. Uh, not enough to be attracted to any of the, uh, the side of, of the copper but uh, it's interesting to see how the magnetic field of the magnet and of the copper electrons um, interact. If I drop uh, the magnet uh, from the height of the pipe, I can hardly, uh, can hardly be quick enough to catch it. But look if I put uh, it on the pipe. I have plenty of time uh, to catch it. What's actually happening in, uh, uh, in the pipe is that the magnet uh, gets slowed down by the magnetic field generated by the copper electrons who are interacting with it. And this is a, a very short uh, uh, introduction to the world of paramagnetic and ferromagnetic uh, materials. Keep experimenting!